Hey folks, this is just going to be a short video about um, encrypting your ZFS root on a new Ubuntu 20, 20.04 install. Um, Ubuntu 20.04, and I think I think it started in 1910, or not entirely sure, but allows you to use ZFS as a as a uh, root file system, as a as a boot file system actually, and um, it's got a number of features to it which are pretty nice, which or things like um, being able to roll back after after you install some set of software, or make some network changes, or or whatever. It's it's quite nice. Um, so I like it and I want to use it, but out of the box, Ubuntu twenty oh four, it's a it's you know it's kind of like a advanced feature, the 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 new ZFS stuff, and it's um, it's kind of hidden away that you know you can you can do it, but it's not you know it's kind of uh, Second class at this point. I'm sure it'll get, get more first class in subsequent releases. But in any case, right now there aren't there aren't very many options about how you install ZFS. It says, "Do you want to use ZFS? If so, yes, I'm going to blow away your entire hard drive, <laughs> and I'm going to install ZFS the way I want." So, uh, and one of the things that it doesn't include is encryption, which I want. And I was able to track down something from a guy I actually know, Sean. Ray Schneider, hi Sean, <laughs> uh, that uh, told me how to do this. A virtual machine-y thingy here that I'm going to use to uh, pretend that I'm installing onto real, real hardware here. And did I not just do that? <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> There we go. Okay. Uh, all right. We'll let this thing go. Hmm. Nice sound. I am using Ubuntu Mate, by the way, here. Ubuntu Mate. You can disregard the fact that I'm using Ubuntu Mate, although I, I like to show it off because I, I really I really like Ubuntu Mate. Um, but this installer for regular Ubuntu is exactly the same. There's there's almost no difference to it. It just comes up this way in normal Ubuntu as well, the, the same as it does here. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try Ubuntu Mate or Ubuntu, whatever you prefer. And... Okay, and I'm going to open a terminal. Uh, Control Alt T does that, I think, on most every Ubuntu. Um, and I'm also going to open Firefox. And we'll see if I have a network connection. <laughs> and we're going to search for Sean. Hey, Sean. Rafe Schneider. Uh, thanks. Uh, EFS uh, encryption. Okay. <laughs> All right. And Sean, what? That's not what I was looking for. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. So Sean was nice enough to put a little blog entry up about how to uh, install, in, well, in, in, encrypt your ZFS installation on Ubuntu 20.04. So um, all you really need to do is copy this stuff here <laughs> that he has in there, and he tells you, Edit user share ubiquity zsys setup. So we'll do that. Uh, sudo first. Uh, user, what is it? I already forgot. Uh, user share ubiquity. Ubiquity, ubiquity zsys setup. Okay, and then we're just going to look. Now, this is normal VI, not Vim, <laughs> so it's going to be a little dicey here. But uh, 
Let's see. We're, we're looking for uh, Z pool create. That's what we're looking for. Yep. And all we really need to do is take the stuff that he has in there. On this line, insert, paste. And actually, I'm pretty sure that we don't need this record size in here. That might have just been his preference. So I'm going to take that out. And basically, we're just adding those arguments to to the Ubuntu's installer installer's knowledge about how to how to make this root pool. Uh, the only pool we're actually using encryption on is the root pool. Uh, the boot, there's another pool that it creates, which is the boot pool. We don't need to encrypt that. We don't. We actually just don't want to encrypt that. Um, and I think I think that's it. Um, oh no! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Uh, we have to actually do something like this. Uh, we have to type echo, and then my password, whatever your whatever your pass, you you my, my passphrase. I'll, I'll say I'll say that my pass passphrase, um, and pipe that into ZPool Create. Is that right? Did I get that right, Sean? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. So, uh, and this doesn't get saved anywhere. This is entirely in memory right now, this this whole file system, this whole installer thing. So you don't have to worry about saving this into a file or anything, it's, it's fine. It will not matter. Okay, now that we did that, um, we can, I think, close out our Firefox here. And now we can just install Ubuntu. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, man, yeah, man. Okay, looks like it finished. And we'll restart. You can do it. Yeah. There you go. And there we go. It's going to ask us for the encrypted CFS password. Let's see if I can remember it. What did I use? Oh, I used my passphrase. Was it my passphrase? <coughs> Yep, and we are going to z pool uh, list. No, we're going to z pool. Uh, we're going to z pool get uh, all grep inc. Yeah. 